Well, good evening and welcome to the Sudoku channel. It is still 2023 and I'm hoping that this video will be out on uh, the 29th of December, God willing. Anyway, welcome to the Sudoku channel. Uh, this is Oliver coming to you from Yall by the Sea in Ireland over here in Europe, right beside the Atlantic. And uh, hope you all had a very good Christmas and looking forward to the new year. I have not touched a Sudoku puzzle since before Christmas. I'm a little bit rusty now, I have to say. And we're, um, for those of you who haven't been following the channel, what we're doing is delving into the archives of the Telegraph newspaper in the UK, looking at their diabolical Sudoku puzzles. And this is their number 5424 from the 5th of March 2021. And let's just see if it is actually diabolical, because some of them turn out to be easy some of them turn out to be nice and difficult and some of them turn out to be right diabolical so let's see what we have here now i'm using sven sudoku pad as usual if we don't solve it using the basic techniques then there will be a second part a video too so look if you want to be sure of being informed automatically when part two comes out be sure and click the subscribe button down there and the bell and you'll get informed automatically okay Oh, and I should thank everybody that subscribed. Um, I've just been taught that we've got over 500 subscribers and I'm absolutely flabbergasted. <laughs> There's no idea nothing better to do with their life. Anyway, we'll call it here. We start off with, uh, I do it sequentially, start off with one and see if we can see any uh, place where we can put Snyder pairs or uniques there. Well, for example, we can see down here, we can't have a one along there. Oh, that doesn't help me. <laughs> up here can't have a one along here can't have a one along here or here so we get a unique one in there we click it in and we'll do it again and now we have not a one there not a one there and we're going to have what this is called a snyder pair we'll have a one in one of those two cells and by tradition uh, we put these in as pencil marks in the corners let's try it again well, that's about all we can do with the one. So where is there a two? There's one down here. Well, again, we can't have a two along here or here. And we have a two here. That's blocking that one off. So that's the only place we can have a two in here. And that's a unique two. And we'll draw it again. Oh, look at that. Not over there. Not over here. Another unique two goes in there. And we will blast it again. We should get something else now because we can't have a two across there or here or here so we get a snyder pair of twos in there now up here can't be long there can't be long there so that is where the twos are going to end up in that house now we now have in almost every house not quite every house so we still don't have anything in here we can't do anything with that we're going to the threes not down there or there so we're going to have a pair of threes in there where is there a four well, over here, we can't have across there or across there or up here. So that is where the fours will be in that house. Handy one here. Can't be down there, so must be in here. Now with that four in there, there's only one left. So what goes in here? Well, all that's left now is the seven. So we put the seven in there. Back to the fours. Okay, no four down here, no four here or across here. So we get a unique four in here. And give it another blast. Oh, shut up here. Can't be long there or here or across here. So we get a Snyder pair of fours in there. That's all we can do with the fours. It's coming out a little bit easy at the moment. I'm wondering, will this be a diabolical after all? So onto the fives. Well, not across there or here. So that's where the two fives will be. The Snyder pair of fives. Nothing else there. Sixes. We get a unique from this, not here or here. So there's a unique six going in there. And seven. Well, not there. Can't have a seven there. So it's going to be either here or here. Another Snyder going in there. Back to the sevens. And eight. Well, we can't have it down there. Can't have it across here. So we put in two eights in there and give it another go. Now, these two eights are also called a pointing pair of eights because it's where they are in the house. 
But if you look at it, that's also the place where the B and the column. So we can't have eights anywhere else. So we can't have eights there. Can't have eights here. And we get ourselves a unique eight in here. Well, not there. We can't have across there. We can't have across here. We now get another Snyder pair of eights here, which happened to be a pointing pair that that doesn't help us. And where's the nine? Here's the nine. Well, that's it. That's our first run through it. We got quite a number of different candidates in now, didn't we? Unique candidates. So normally what I do now is I just go oh, look at that. We have here we have almost a column, right? There's just one left out. That's that one down there. So what goes in there? Well, we don't have the five, so we might as well stuff the five in there. And having put that in there, does that tell us anything else about fives? Oh, look at that. We can't have a five here, so we get two fives in here. Now, there's another one here. We only have two cells left here in this row. So what are the numbers that have to go in there? We'll have a look at that first. So we have one, two. We're missing three. We have four, five, six, and we're missing seven. So three and seven must go into these two cells. And I normally color those. They're known as a conjugate pair. So it's a conjugate pair for the house and it's also a conjugate pair for the row. And let's go back. I'm going to do the second pass now. We'll start again at one. And if I find anything, I'll come back, back to you so you don't have to <laughs> waste your time watching me doing it. OK, and back very quickly. Can't have one across there or here, which means the one is going to be in one of those two places there. And we get one here as well. Can't be here or here. Or here and I should have got that first time around so sorry about that well on the sevens you can't have a seven across here so there's going to be a Snyder pair of sevens there and if we do it again because that's also a pointing pair we can't have a seven across here ah oh, we already have the sevens in here <laughs> okay so that doesn't do anything there well going up this way and why didn't I see this before you can't have an eight there or there so the eights are going to be in here. OK, that's all I can find. Um, not sure what I'm going to do now, to be honest with you. I usually do rows and columns, but the two big, the one that has most in them, the row and the column, we've more, well, we have started out. Hmm, don't really see anything jumping out at me unless I've made a mistake somewhere, which is always quite possible. Um... Oh, look at that. Seven, 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 seven. And we have a seven here. That should not be a seven. Get rid of that seven there, which means this is a unique seven. Now, what do we have? Seven, seven. We have a Snyder pair of sevens in there. I uh, don't think it does anything else. Let me see. We've got one, two. Oh, two will be. Oh, no, we have two. One, two, three. Where will three go? Three can be anywhere. We have four. Five can be anywhere, six can be anywhere, seven, eight, nine. So that house still doesn't get solved for us. I go through them myself again. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go through different houses like that one there just to see where the last three are going to go in. But we've got four missing here. We've got too many, five missing there. I would hate to call a halt at now and say, right, we have to go and use advanced techniques because I don't think we do, to be perfectly honest with you. We must be able to do something. And look, I'll go through them all again. If I don't get anywhere, I'm going to put in all the candidates for every cell. I know it's an awful thing to be doing at this stage, but I'm going to do that and then see what jumps out at me. OK, well, now I didn't find anything. And so I have come along and I've put in all the candidates for every one of the cells and I'm fairly certain I have it done uh, properly. Now, if you didn't get exactly this, what you might want to do is make sure that you've taken into consideration any place where there are pointing pairs. Um, I can't remember now where they were, but for example, there was two eights here. So make sure you didn't have any two eights down there, two ones, which means you can't have any ones along here. Um, because there was quite a number of pointing pairs that I had to go and take care of. So just do that. But uh, I've gone through this now twice, so I'm fairly certain that this is correct. 
And uh, one thing that you might notice is that there's a 3737 here, which is another conjugate pair. And I'll put it in in the traditional way of conjugate pairs, uh, 37. And I'm going to color that green for the house and blue for the row. Now, 37 for the row means that we can't have a 3 or 7 anywhere else on the row, which means we can't have a 7 there. So let's get rid of that 7, which means this now becomes the 7 for that uh, column and for the house. Now that 7 means we get rid of those two 7s there. And any other 7s to get rid of? I think that's it. Oh, these three 7s, we shouldn't have a 7 here. Let me get rid of that. Now also, if you look at this column, we have a 3 7 there and a 3 7 here, which means we can't have 3 or 7s anywhere else now in this column. So we have two 3s there that we can get rid of. And we have two seven here's sevens here to get rid of. That means we now have a unique one to stick in. And that gets rid of the one over here. And it also gets rid of the ones down here. Now, as you can see, this is getting a little bit difficult trying to get rid of um, candidates in different cells. This is where I find this quite confusing and I think I'll have to switch over to another software. Oh, look at that. If you look at the ones, um, we now have a unique one here. So let's put that in. I'm going to have to change software fairly quickly because this is where I will definitely start making mistakes. Yep, OK, look, I'm going to call a halt here. I want to switch over to the other software called Hudoku. It is much easier when you've got that software up to uh, go through all the different cells when you've got multiple candidates sitting in them. OK, so I will not be long and I will be back to you. Well, here we have all the candidates. And what is striking now is the number of conjugate pairs that there are there. So I think what I'd like to do first is just make sure I've got rid of everything from the conjugate pairs. And in this software, it's actually possible to color cells. So let's see. So the 73, 73, 73, 73, we saw that before. And actually from that, I missed out. There's a three up here we should have got rid of. So let's get rid of that one there. And oh, two more over here. And uh, that one goes and that one goes. Now there are the 73s. Let's change the color to something else. We have two four sixes here. Oh, well, that means we have to get rid of a couple of sixes around here. Let's get rid of those. Give me a second. All right, those those sixes gone. Oh, there's another conjugate pair. Three nine three nine. With those three nines, we can get rid of nines here and here. Oh, they're all going. So that's a seven five seven five. Yeah, let's give that a color. Um, oh, sorry, wrong color. We'll go to this one. Nah, I thought we might get something across here. Oh, there's another conjugate pair up there. Look at that. Um, three five three five. And that's going to get rid of. We'll take the three down here first. It's also going to get rid of the three and the five. So we've got a seven there now. Right, I think I have to get rid of the colors now in order to put in uniques. I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, I have to get rid of them. I have to stop coloring cells now. OK, so we have a seven here. And don't tell me that's all. After all that work, that's all we got. I don't believe it. Oh, here we go. Three, nine, three, nine. We can get rid of that nine down there as well. So that gives us a six and four over here. I wonder, is this going to be... No, it couldn't be. It'd be too easy. There's not anything coming. Who? But there's going to be something there. I'm just looking now for things like uh, triples and quads, either in houses or in rows or in columns. <laughs> there's a nice triple there. 356, 356, 356. Oh, there's a triple here. 3, 5, 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6. That's 3, 5, and 6. That means we can get rid of, um, in these two, we can get rid of the 5. And in this one, we can get rid of the 6. And we have, oh, look at that. Here now we have two 6s, which means we can get rid of the 6 here. This is all very busy, though, isn't it? 
What I'd normally do next is look for, uh, I can't see any more triples. I often look at, uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I do something that never gets me anywhere. <laughs> like for example, there's a 6, 8, 1, 6, 8, 1, 6. That's a triple. And then I was wondering if there was something similar where you have 3 and 1 and then you've got a 2 and a 2, but they could be in different houses. Like if there was an 8, 6 down here and the 1, 6, would that mean anything? Um, I'm told that it does, but I can never prove it or anything at all like that. Uh, the other one is if you had like they've got an eight nine two eight nine. If there was if there was a two nine or a two eight, there's a two eight. I wonder does that mean anything there? You've got an eight nine two eight nine and a two eight. These are the things that I don't understand. I'm going to have to go off and study them. Uh, I'm not putting these down as basic techniques. There for me, they're a little bit more advanced. So I have to go and I can never remember them. I'm going to go and study them. And I see another one here. There's a an eight nine no there isn't i thought there was oh do you know what i see a little chain there okay look i've done enough uh i have a feeling this will be sorted out without too much difficulty using one or two advanced techniques oh do you know what i'm been talking a lot look okay enough is enough i'm going to finish with that now i just have a feeling that i'm going to plow through it tonight because uh, I have a feeling I can get through that but uh, it seems to be very close to the end but this is enough for tonight anyway uh, thank you all for watching and there will be another video coming out in a day or two which will either be my solution or if somebody comes up with a lovely simple solution but I have a feeling there's going to be a simple solution to this and uh, maybe just one chain or something like that okay so if you haven't done chains down below in the description, there's stuff there on chains. And I have a feeling there's a bent triple, which I don't understand. I just see something there that might be able to do something. So I'm going to go off and study bent triples. All right. So uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget to click the bell so you know when the next one comes out. And uh, comments and thumbs up, they really help this. And they keep me going. All right. So thanks once again. And slán